What's up everybody, this is James Roberts, the truth teller for NewsCaller.com and boy do I got some juicy info for you on this quick hit segment. The Hesperia Unified Superintendent Mark McKinney was terminated yesterday without cause. The vote was 3-2 with the two newly elected board members voting for termination. Alright, so this is how it's all going to play out. The typical city school board gossip and retaliation is in full effect in the city of Hesperia. But guess what folks, people are sick and tired of the games. We elected new board members to get the business done. As far as I know, when the two were running, they did not say they wanted to terminate the superintendent. So what happened in the last 30 days that you can justify a vote for one for termination, then terminate him without cause and provide no transparency as to why you did it? Well, you know what? I know there's legal reasons as to why, but you know what? He was, <laughs> he represented the city schools. And as a result, we may, or all of us have a dog in this fight if you have children attending Hesperia Unified. As far as I know, this guy has done a good job. If I, if I read correctly, the school is in within budget. So my question to you is, why did he get fired without cause? If there was cause, go ahead and list the cause and keep it moving and let everybody know he was competent, he wasn't competent, he did this, he did that, and we all can accept it. We're grown-ups. So try to stay with me because uh, it's a lot of gossip here. Allegedly, the superintendent had the police chief fired some time ago. And as a result, there was word that Rogers, if she ever got elected, she was going to have it out for the superintendent. And as a result, she brought along the freshman, very young freshman, Cody Gregg, on the board to pretty much piggyback off of her and provide that third vote along with Black to get him out of there. Well, here's the backdrop. Apparently, the mayor for the city of Hesperia, Holland, was employed by the school police. And he wasn't too happy that the chief was fired. As a result, prior to Rogers getting on the school board, was appointed to a public safety commission by Holland. Well, <laughs> it gets a little bit more juicy. Word on the street is, Rogers, prior to her election, blogged about terminating or getting back at McKinney. Well, here's the deal. People within the community, I was at the gym today and they were talking about it. They are hot. They're asking for the recall of Greg and Rogers. Will it go anywhere? I don't know. But you know what? We need to get some type of explanation as to why he was terminated. So my question to all people viewing this who may have children in the Hesperia Unified School District, who are they going to replace him with? Why are they paying two salaries for one person employed? It makes no sense. That money could have been spent very well in the schools, but instead they're going to have somebody on the sideline in addition to somebody new in office. This doesn't sound like real bright people on this board who voted for determination. What do you think, people? You hit me back up on Twitter at The Truth Teller Show, and we will keep it moving. And just to let you know, folks, I don't have a dog in this fight. I called Cody Gregg yesterday. I actually spoke to him. He said he could not provide any type of interviews to the media and referred me over to the President Rogers. Well, guess what? I called her. No answer. I sent her an email. No reply. So, Ella, anytime you want to come on a Truth Teller show and get to the bottom of this and explain to the people of Hesperia as to why the board blew out the superintendent, hit me up. You know where I'm at. Peace.